Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Imagine turning simple text and images into stunning cinematic videos with AI, instantly, for free, and without watermarks. Sounds impossible? It's not. In fact, the videos you're watching right now were created using this very AI. I've discovered a mind-blowing AI video generator that does it all. No software to install, no technical skills required, and no expensive gear. Just type your idea or upload an image, and watch as the AI instantly transforms it into breathtaking animations and visuals. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to harness its power and start creating like a pro, all in just minutes with both trending AI methods, text to video and image to video. Don't miss a second, you won't believe what this AI can do by the end of the tutorial. It doesn't matter which browser you're using, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any other. The only important thing is that you are already signed in with an active Google account, such as Gmail, in your browser. The reason is simple. We're going to use Google's AI video generation service, and all the steps for logging in, user identification, and saving projects are handled through that same Google account. So, before doing anything else, I recommend making sure your Google account is active, so you won't face any issues as we move forward. Once that's done, type Google AI Studio into your browser's search bar. As you'll see, the first result belongs to the official site of this tool. Click on that link and you'll be taken directly to the main page of Google AI Studio. Upon your first visit, a page will appear showing the terms of service and privacy policy. This step is, in fact, the gateway to one of the most amazing features of Google's AI capabilities. After accepting these terms, you'll enter the main environment of Google AI Studio. The Google AI Studio platform is constantly evolving and being updated. The tutorials you're watching now are completely accurate, and practical as of their release date. However, by the time you're viewing this tutorial, it's possible that a new update may have changed the appearance or some functions of Google AI Studio. But there's no need to worry. I regularly monitor these changes and publish updated tutorials on the Amon Global channel. If staying up to date with the latest features and tools of this platform is important to you, following the Amon Global channel is a smart move. In the top right corner of the website, you have access to your profile icon the account switch option, and the sign out button. Next to your profile, there's a settings button, where you can switch the interface theme between light and dark modes. From the menu on the left, I choose generative media. This section brings together Google's various AI models related to image, video, and audio, and all access to those tools happens right here. To create a video, we'll select the video generation model called VO. Now, on the new page, right at the center, we see a box where we can enter a prompt. In order to generate a video, we need something called a prompt. The prompt is basically our idea, written out in text form, so the AI can create a video based on it. The more detailed your prompt is, the better and more accurately the AI can understand your intention, and produce results that closely match what you have in mind. To enter our first prompt, I click inside the prompt box. At this point, a message appears titled Grant Drive Access. I click Confirm. In the next window, I have to choose the account where I want the videos to be saved. After selecting the account, the process continues. At this stage, I paste in a prompt I've already prepared. Now we'll see whether Google AI Studio can understand and execute the concepts we want. Now we move on to the Run Settings section, which is located in the right-hand panel. When we want to generate a video using AI, we need to explain to the model what kind of video we expect it to create. The Run Settings area is exactly where we define these specifications. Let's go over the options together. At the top of this section, there's a drop-down menu for selecting the video model. Currently, the only available option is VO2. This is the only version accessible right now, but it looks like newer versions will be added in the future. Just below that, we find the Number of Results option. This determines how many videos the model should generate each time it runs. At the moment, we can choose either one or two. Next, we reach the aspect ratio setting, 
which defines the video's display format. There are two options in this section. If you're creating content for platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or other mobile apps, the 916 vertical ratio is a suitable choice. But since I'm producing long format content for YouTube, the 16 to 9 horizontal format is the best choice for me. The next section is for video duration. Here, you can set the video's length in seconds. Currently, you can choose between 5, 6, 7, or 8 seconds. For this example, I'm selecting 8 seconds. Then we come to the frame rate option. At the moment, when you hover your mouse over this section, you'll see that it's disabled and set to 24 frames per second. So, in this version, the frame rate is automatically managed by the model and cannot be changed. Another important setting is resolution, the video quality. This determines the final output resolution, such as HD, Full HD, or higher. Currently, the only available option is 720p HD. Like the frame rate, this option is also locked. When you hover over this section, it shows coming soon, indicating that higher quality options like 1080p or even 4K will be available in future versions. Finally, we reach the negative prompt option. This allows us to specify what should not appear in the generated video. Any term you write in this section will be ignored by the model. For example, if you don't want any animals to appear in your video, just type animal. Or if you don't want your characters to have tattoos, simply enter tattoo. After completing the settings, simply click the blue run button in the bottom right corner of the prompt box. We wait for a few moments while the video is being generated. It usually doesn't take long, and the output will appear right in this section. At this stage, I first enlarge the video slightly, then hit play so we can carefully review the result. The output from Google's text-to-video system, VO, is truly impressive. The video looks quite decent too. Seeing something that once existed only in my mind now brought to life before my eyes is an extraordinary experience. What do you think of this video? If you look at the bottom right corner of the video frame, there's a download button. By clicking it, the video is downloaded instantly. You can also choose Export to Drive to save a copy directly to your Google Drive, so you can access it anytime you like. From the left-hand menu, I head into the History section. Inside the My Files page, clicking the Drive Folder option gives me access to the archive of all the videos I've created so far. It's worth noting that Google AI Studio temporarily keeps only the latest generated video. But if you export it to Drive, you'll have a version stored much longer and readily available. For further testing, I reran the same prompt and got even newer results, which you can now see. In my experience working with Google's VO Video Generator, I was able to create five consecutive videos without any watermark or limitations. The process was fast, smooth, and completely uninterrupted. After creating the fifth video, I did notice a short waiting time of a few minutes before I could generate the sixth, seventh, and so on. But in my opinion, that short delay is not a setback. It's actually a perfect opportunity to review the outputs and prepare new prompts. Overall, throughout the day, you can generate a large number of videos using this tool with no serious restrictions or barriers in the process. In the next example, we'll test video generation in an animated cartoon style. For this fun test, I start by clearing the previous prompt and pasting a brand new one I had written earlier into the text box. The idea behind this prompt is a cute and adorable little starfish going on an underwater adventure, designed for a children's cartoon, something cheerful and heartwarming, perfect for kids. With the same previous settings, I click the run button in the bottom right corner. The prompt enters the processing queue. After a few seconds of waiting, the output is ready. I enlarge the video and hit play to start watching. The result has exactly the same vibe as a Pixar or Disney animation. The colors, the movements, the character designs, and even the facial expressions of these adorable little characters were all produced with stunning detail and precision. Everything looks exactly the way I had imagined it. Finally, to save and keep the video, as usual, I clicked the download button in the bottom right corner. The download was super quick. Then, with a click on export to drive, I save a copy of the video to my Google Drive so I can access it later or even share it with others. What we've done so far was text to video. But now, let's move on to image to video. That means animating your own pictures or images created with other AI tools. Next to the Run button, there's an option to add input items. I click on it. As you can see here in this drop-down list, there are different ways to add an image to your prompt. 
such as uploading directly or capturing a photo using your camera. I click upload image and choose the picture from my hard drive that I want to animate. I upload it. After uploading, the image thumbnail appears inside the prompt box. In the prompt panel, we can type in our ideas as text to guide how we want the image to be animated. Vio, Google's video making AI, will interpret our needs and animate the image based on the written prompt. Keep in mind you're working with a powerful AI, and its capabilities are in your hands. The more detailed and thoughtful your prompt is, the better Vio will understand exactly what needs to be done. I enter my idea for animating the image into the prompt box. With the same previous settings, I click run from the bottom right corner. The prompt enters the processing queue, and after a few seconds, the output is ready. I enlarge the video and hit play to start watching. It's clear that the animation was done entirely based on my prompt. The output from Google's VO image to video system is truly amazing. Seeing an image that was once completely still now come to life is a one-of-a-kind experience. What's your opinion on Google's image to video process? If you found this tutorial helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. These small gestures of support really help motivate me to create the next tutorials. This video might also be useful to those around you, so feel free to share it. Who knows, a simple share might open the door to the world of AI for someone else. More exciting tutorials are on the way, so make sure to follow the channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss any new content. AI is the future, let's embrace it starting today.